one. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another lesson with Navy Dave Golf. I'm Navy Dave, and we're here to talk about something that is important to everybody, but will be different to everybody, and that is ball position and how to make sure we're actually aiming correctly. Now, as many of us amateurs do, we will go up to a ball, feel like we're close enough, we'll take an eyeball look up, and then we'll go ahead and swing. Now, we may pull the ball, we may push the ball, we may feel like we hit exactly where we wanted it to go, but we have no idea if that's where we actually hit the ball. What do I mean? Well, let's talk about it. If my feet were aimed along the wrong way, and again, I'm exaggerating here, if my feet were aimed the wrong way, and I hit this ball dead perfect, it would be out to the left. In a lot of cases, we'd think, gosh darn it, as a lefty, I just pushed that ball. Flipping around for the other side, okay? If we're over here, and we're aiming all the way out this way, and we hit a shot, guess what? We could have hit it perfectly, but we didn't hit our target, okay? So, what I brought to you today is the mighty Home Depot uh, cross of technique is what we're gonna call it. Now, as you can see, I've got a ball placed almost dead center of this little cross area, okay? What you need to realize is this is a representation of where we are trying to aim and what we are doing with our feet. Now, when we're lining up a shot, what I've been teaching my students is to pick a spot six to 12 inches in front of the ball and picture hitting down and through that shot. Well, that's what these lines represent. Now you say, David, why does that matter to me? Well, because we need to have a starting point, okay? Now, some people, and again, I have a seven iron here, some people play the club forward in their stance, okay? Some people play the ball back in their stance, and some people play it just about middle. I don't care which person you are. I do care that we're setting each and every one of those individuals up for success. Well, how do we do that? The key important factor is to make sure that we have the correct line that we want to hit on. If we do not have this starting point, then we have nothing to base anything else on, okay? Now that I've got my starting point, and again, we're imaging something that's about right there, I'm going to step up to the ball. I have the ball in the middle of my stance right now, okay? Now, if I am playing the ball forward, I will take a small step forward, a bigger step back. If you notice, my feet are shoulder width apart, okay? Now, if I play the ball in my middle of the stance, I'm going to go the same distance both ways, okay? If I play the ball in the back of my stance, I'm here, I take a bigger, oops, I'm sorry, a bigger step forward, smaller step back. All the time I'm ending up in the exact same position with my feet being shoulder width apart. This is very, very, very important because, again, everything that has to do with your swing builds from the ground up. We picked a starting point, we got the ball placement, we know that we started in the center because we can eyeball it, take the club, club right there, say, okay, that's where we're at, and now we're ready to swing. That's the very first part in the lesson of getting ready to swing the golf club. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.